Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the blob paint tool in Adobe Illustrator CS4. Now just so you know, this tutorial only works with Illustrator CS4 because the blob brush tool was only released just recently. It looks something like this and it's called the blob brush tool and you can access it by hitting shift B. Just like that. Now before we learn about how this works, let me just go back to the times of the paintbrush tool. Here I've drawn a simple smiley face and YouTube lettering. Now it's okay, I could use it for anything, but as you can see, some of these objects include multiple paths. For example, the glasses. Just to create this circle and this line, I had to use two paths. Now if I want to join them, I have a couple of options. I can go into my Pathfinders palette and select them. I could group them. But then it's only going to be two paths. What if I want to fill them? Then I'm going to have to go to Object, Expand. So it's a lot of work just to do a simple thing with the paintbrush tool. Just for creating this T, I need two paths. Now, here we have the paint blob tool, as I like to call it. You can call it by the, its actual name, the blob brush tool. I just like to call it the paint blob tool. And if just say I wanted to draw the T in YouTube, I'm going to draw that out. Now, it's basically the same as this. Pretty much looks the same. But here's the difference. It's all one. Now, I didn't do anything to group these. I did not go to my Pathfinders palette. I didn't hit Command G to group it. It's all automatic. Now, another great thing is that not only is it grouped, but it's not two paths either. It's one object. You could easily fill this with something like a gradient. Unlike these. This works even if I want to go back to it and start drawing into it. As long as it's the same color, it's going to stay the same. Just like that. All one. Even if I have it deselected, if I keep the same color, all one. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if I don't want it to group together? If I have this little thing right here, and I want to put something across here, but I don't want it to group with this squiggly, I can just change the color of it and then it will not affect it. It will be two different paths. I can still move it around and adjust it. Now, what if I want to group it together, but I forgot to group it when I was originally using it? Well, just take it, take the same color, and go like that. It's all done. But, it may be a problem if we have another object out here. If we have that object and we want to group something to this, we could easily go into it by accident and it'll join. So if you don't want that to happen, instead of moving this out of the way, all you have to do is double click on the tool and check off Selection Limits Merge. And that basically gives us more control on where it merges. Hit OK to accept it and it will only merge with what you have selected. I'll go right through both of them and this only affected the one I had selected. We could easily use the blob brush tool with other tools such as the eraser tool and erase what we don't want. And then if you get any hard edges just use the smooth tool to finish up the job. And that's basically it. 
that's how you can easily use the paint blob tool for easier productivity in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.